Welcome, Facebook, to another episode of Bing TV, coming to you live from Seattle. So if you're on the West Coast, good morning. If you're on the East Coast, good afternoon. If you're somewhere else in the world, good part of the day to you. Um, super excited for our episode today. Um, our brief, as we call it, what we'll cover today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, Bing Shopping and some cool updates we have there. I know that it might seem a little late for the holiday season, but it's still enough time uh, to get a campaign together and get it live for the craziness of the shopping season that really starts next week and goes through New Year's. Um, then I'm going to talk to you about Excel with Bing. This is a cool new program. I'm going to give you more details about that. Um, and we have another surprise uh, detail for you, too. Another great opportunity to connect with us here. And then we have our interview with the Bing Ninja, which is obviously our favorite part of the program. We have Vishali Day here, and she's just going to share a mountain of amazing information with us. And spoiler alert, um, my co-host and other regular host, MJ, she's behind the camera today, but uh, you'll probably see her a little later on. Don't worry. All right, so let's get started. Bing Shopping. So currently, Bing Shopping is only available in uh, the US and the UK. Um, we've just launched it in, in Canada and in India. So this means a couple things. Both um, companies and retailers in those countries uh, can create shopping campaigns and run them uh, nationally. Um, but it also means that if you are in other countries, um, you can now advertise into those companies with your Bing shopping campaigns. So I, we've kind of missed it for India, but Diwali, for example, was at the end of September, beginning of October, and um, it's a massive, massive shopping period. Um, so make sure next year you take advantage of that. The date changes, so check that out. But for Canada, we have uh, Boxing Day which is uh, the day after Christmas. It's a massive, massive shopping day in Canada. So take advantage of showing your shopping campaign ads there and making sure you have some budget set up for that. If you need help with your shopping campaigns, we understand that there are a lot of moving parts uh, when you're building out a shopping campaign and in the merchant shopping center and with your feeds in particular. And uh, But don't fret, we have free support for you. Um, so if you go to aka.ms slash BSC help, that's Bing Shopping Campaigns help, um, then you'll be able to, and I believe we're dropping the link now into the comments, um, but you'll be able to figure, uh, get questions answered and also get support um, because like I mentioned, it's not too late to really get a lot of value out of the current shopping season. Uh, so that's all I have about shopping. Um, if um, if you want to drop in the comments the gifts that you're thinking about buying for like me or MJ, um, let us know. I can share my shipping address. Um, but we're hoping everyone is starting to enjoy the shopping season and taking advantage of all of the features, the, um, the different extensions, the ad types, um, so that this can be a really, really successful part of your year and of your paid search marketing. So moving on from shopping, I'm going to talk about Excel. Um, raise your hand if you use Excel day in and day out. Okay, high five yourself if your hand was up because that means you're doing PPC right. Um, it is an essential tool for all of us. And um, I don't care what size of company or agency or what your budget is, we are all using Excel. And obviously, Excel is a Microsoft product. Um, and so we want to be, as a Microsoft product ourselves at Bing, we want to help you and bring in uh, as much um, support, as much content, um, tips and tricks, and, um, and t-shirts. I think there are probably people watching who have some cool Excel t-shirts. So what we decided to do was create a program called Excel with Bing, a little, little awesome wordplay there. And uh, we run this program out in, out in the industry. If you've ever attended a search marketing expo or SMX uh, conference, you have hopefully come to an Excel with Bing session or at least seen us there. But for those of you that don't attend or can't always attend um, industry conferences, we wanted to do something more with it. And so I um, 
I uh, passed off my in-person work uh, to my fearless colleague, uh, Stein Broder, who's gonna come, come on set with me now. And he's gonna talk to you about how you can get involved with Excel with Bing um, from the comfort of your living room chair. Exactly, yeah. from the comfort of your living room chair. <laughs> my name's Stein Broder, nice to meet all of you out there and good to see you, Francis. <laughs> you too. Um, yep, so. Marketing maestro, I mean, technically. Content I, marketing yeah. manager. I, I like the other one, but um, okay. Tell us about yeah. some Excel goodness. Yes. So first of all, we've got the um, the Excel plugin, Bing mm -hmm. Ads Intelligence, which is a powerful keyword research tool where you're able to upload or input all of your keywords and then do a keyword expansion so that you're able to take advantage of all of the Bing network data goodness. Yeah. Um, if that's a good phrase to use. Yeah. Um, and you can download it on the, via the Bing Ads website. Um, we'll drop the link for you um, uh, in just a moment. You can also, yeah, it's Sorry. also bingads.com slash BAI. Um, like write that on a sticky note, put it on your monitor. Um, you're gonna wanna get it. Okay. So um, I think we can go on to the next slide. Again, it provides Bing Network um, keyword data analysis, um, and it's quick and it's easy. And mm -hmm. once it's once it's a plugin, so once it's on Excel and you open Excel, it's always there, always easy for you to use. And you're you're logging in yes. with your data. With your right? data, so you're logging in with your account. It links to your Bing Ads yeah. account. So and it just pulls it in. Pulls you in don't have to all do the any data. Work. Yep, all the information is right there. It's very easy. Um, now, you mentioned your Excel with Bing series mm -hmm. at events, so yes. we've taken that and wanted to broaden it to a larger audience with right. this new Excel with Bing video series. And we have um, a good friend of ours and the communities, <laughs> Perna Vergi, hosting five, about eight to ten minute videos where we cover a range of topics that you see here, keyword additions, budget, mm -hmm. bid management, Ad copy testing, a lot of people don't know that you can also use Excel for ad copy testing, yeah. kind of unique, um, as well as analysis and reporting. Um, and that uh, will drop the link shortly, I believe, um, for that video series. Go there, uh, register for any of any of them or all of them mm -hmm. if you want. We've also got um, additional ones, additional uh, videos coming out in the, in, the, in the series probably in the next month or so. So look out for those tips and tricks. Um, from um, other Bing Ads experts. Yeah, and we um, and it's not just Bing Ads experts that are on there. It's also friends, yes. friends of ours, friends of the family. <laughs> yes, that's right. In this video series, absolutely, yeah. um, we've got uh, our friends from Hannapin Marketing um, that are um, uh, co-hosting with Verna. Verna. Uh, <laughs> Perna. Perna. Virgie. Thank you. Um, no, they're great, and um, they're really quick like bite-sized yeah. um, little videos um, to give you a boost that day in using Excel, just exactly. smarter, better, faster. Yep, eight, eight, eight minutes, so you've got the time. Check out one and then check out another at a different time. So, yeah, perfect. There we go. So I did promise you uh, earlier on that we were gonna have a special surprise uh, update. Surprise and update. this is it! Yay! <laughs> the art and science of travel search engine mm -hmm. marketing. So in December, for the Art of Advertiser Science series, we're going to be covering the travel industry um, mm -hmm. specific to uh, search engine marketing. And we're going to have a couple of, we're going to have a very special guest speaker from Focusrite, a travel industry research company. Yep. Um, we'll have Douglas Quimby. He's there. I believe it's VP of research. So he's going to have some great information for us to share as well as um, we'll have a Bing Ads Insights Manager, Troy Schofield, who also specializes in the travel um, industry. We love you, Troy! <laughs> he sits right outside. Um, on there as well. Um, and we'll drop a link to register for that in just a moment. So the topics we'll be covering are the future of travel, mm -hmm. um, what travel, um, what, you know, what the, what the travel industry looks like from an online perspective now and the, the, uh, the searcher's uh, journey mm -hmm. and query path and things like that. So lots of cool information there as well as how to, how to reach those folks on yeah. Bing. Um, so here's your link. Here's your link. You want to be sure and save your seat. Yep. Go there now <laughs> and register as soon as you can. And um, I got to get going because I got to get uh, okay. I gotta a flight to catch. All right. I'm going to let you go. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us Good on Bing TV. Um, so just a little recap there before we jump on. I want to make sure that you go to bingads.com slash BAI, download the Bing Ads Intelligence plugin. It's incredibly valuable. It brings in the all of the data from the Bing network 
and your Bing Ads account data into one spot on Excel, um, and you'll find it very, very useful. And then also remind you to register for our travel uh, webcast. Um, the link is there in the comments. The other thing to think about if it's not the right time or day for you, still register because then you get an email with the link to the presentation so that you can still go in um, and watch it and um, listen to it on your own time. So just make sure to register either way. And now we have our favorite part of the day. Uh, we have our interview with the Bing Ads Ninja. Come on up, Vishali. Hi. Welcome. Say hi Thank to you. Facebook. Hi. <laughs> um, so why don't you introduce yourself and tell everyone watching uh, who you are and what you do with Bing? Hi, I'm Vishali. I work on the engineering team, and uh, I love reading books. Mm -hmm. I love karaoke. Uh, oh, me too. What's your go-to song? Uh, Black Velvet. Wow! My go-to song is Part of Your World from Little Mermaid. Oh, I love that song yeah. too. Okay, yeah. we can do that together. Okay, we'll do that. Week. That'll be next episode. All right. Okay. Okay. So, you, um, as you mentioned, you work on the engineering team. Um, so, what are the main things that you work on? Um, so, I work on the agency platform and on billing. And then with my partner in Crime Dare, like he mm -hmm. works on campaigns and reporting. So, basically, Everything for our advertisers. <laughs> and you, uh, you both just wrote um, an awesome blog uh, post about everything uh, that the engineering team has done in the last six months, right? Or last year? Yeah, last year. So okay. we wrote a couple of blog articles this year because, you know, customers literally shape our product. And mm -hmm. we are so thankful for all of the feedback you send us. Uh, we go on listening tours. Uh, I know Aria was here last week talking yep. about user voice, so that's a great way for you to get your voice in. Uh, and this is how this is all part of our product development cycle. So it's how we build what you need and not what we think you need. <laughs> uh, so I brought some friends along too. Yes, to, you know, just just share the love. <laughs> Um, I think um, I'd love just to almost reiterate how much um, information you take from customers and then how that is, you know, put to work within your team or how, how does your team read it? What do they do once they read it? So uh, we are on user voice all the time, right? Because mm -hmm. that's where we're getting most of our feedback from and that's how we plan our roadmap. So we decide based on that feedback, what are we going to build next? And so this year, the two articles you were talking about, mm -hmm. Uh, that basically recaps all of the changes we've made directly based on customer feedback. So Ooh. I would just, I, I'd love to cover some of that. Yeah, so okay, let's again. go through them. Also, it's a good reminder in case anyone missed an update. Um, so some of this might be brand new, some of this might be a reminder, um, but all of it is uh, f generated from uh, customer suggestions you. and requests. Yep. All right. So this is the post. We'll be dropping the link in so that you can find it. Um, or you can always go to bingads.com slash blog and scroll through there. Yep. But let's jump right into sort of the meat and the details of it. Right. So there were five big categories um, where we made improvements this year and throughout the year, right? So the first one was around empowering agencies and multi-account mm -hmm. direct advertisers. And I'll go into some more details on what we enabled for them. Uh, we optimized the frequently used workflows and we added in some intelligent automation to mm -hmm. do the heavy lifting for our advertisers. Uh, we did a lot of improvements around targeting and extensions because we know that's super important yeah. to you. Uh, performance reporting, another way, like that's critical, right? Because that's how you know the return you're getting on your ad spend. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, we made uh, a lot of little improvements around budget and billing management. Perfect. And when it comes to budget and billing, 
I don't think there is anything that's called little. In <laughs> that is such an enormously complex and important part of what we do. Um, but uh, so let's break it down. We're going to talk yeah. about each of these. Okay, go yeah. ahead. Okay, so the first one is around uh, all the love we want to show to our agencies mm -hmm. and multi-account managers. So uh, we've been on this journey for the past year because we've had a pretty big gap in terms of the capabilities we need to provide you. And uh, this year was when we laid the building blocks down and we're going to build on top of this. Uh, so one of the first changes we made was enabling agencies uh, to have multiple agencies mm -hmm. linked to the same account because we know that agencies have complex setups and this gives them the flexibility that they really need. And when you're doing all of that, if you want to take over billing, we let you do that. So it's mm -hmm. really easy. You keep your accounts continuously live because, again, we know clients really want that. Yeah. Um, then the next thing we did was giving account owners more control over their accounts. So, mm. you know, whenever, just like they give access, if they need to remove access, they can do that pretty easily. Mm -hmm. uh, the last big set of changes was around uh, payment management for all of those accounts. So again, for agencies, mm. we know that you have diverse client portfolios. They may be funding their accounts in different ways. Right. And um, before, we used to sort of the payment problems with one account would impact others, and that was terrible. Mm. So we fixed that. So now, uh, you know, more power that you have uh, to manage those things independently. And we have a lot more goodness coming. So we have uh, in beta the capability to use a single login to mm -hmm. manage multiple customers. We, I get asked about that all uh, the time. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, we've talked to agencies who have... An Excel spreadsheet. This is not where we want them to use the power of Excel, but they <laughs> but they're using a spreadsheet to manage hundreds of logins, which is a pain. So yeah, you know. So again, a lot more goodness coming this year. So I'm Amazing. Super, super excited. Uh, so what's our next bucket of work? Uh, so the next one is around optimizations and automations for our customers. And again, based on your direct feedback, we've been focusing on the workflows that matter the most. Mm. So let's get into some of those details. Uh, so the first one is we know that, again, a lot of our customers who are managing large number of campaigns are mm -hmm. working in the editor. And so, uh, again, based on customer feedback, we've made it super easy to select multiple campaigns, multiple ad groups in the editor, so okay. you can apply those changes at once. Right? Okay. So it's all about taking actions in bulk, giving them time back. Uh, another change we've made is in the past, we wouldn't let you do uh, you know, managing bids for different device types okay. on the main screen. And again, that's a waste of time because you're going somewhere else, so now that's in the main grid. Okay. Time saver. Nice. Uh, other things we've done are around uh, extensions. So uh, you'd have extensions that you manage for different campaigns, and you'd have to do that over and over again. So now we mm. let you do that at the account level. Again, time saver. Uh, so the next set of changes were around, uh, hey, DSA. We know that was <laughs> customers wanted. When you're giving us yes. DSA. Uh, and DSA makes it really simple for you. So you add in a URL, you add in the ad description, and then we do the heavy lifting. So we are generating all those ad titles. And what's great about that isn't just that it's saving you time, but it's helping you find those additional queries that you might not have found on your yep. own, right? Something else about new queries is on the Bing Ads page, um, we actually publish the top trending new queries that we haven't seen in the marketplace and we refresh that every two weeks. So if you're ever looking to sort of brainstorm new ideas or understand why campaigns might be performing in a certain way um, or you want to test some broad match strategies, you can go and actually see those new query lists there as well as using DSA to take advantage of those. Exactly. Yep. Uh, and the last big category of changes was around bid management. We know that's complex and it takes a lot <laughs> of time, you know, trial and error. So uh, we released our first automated bid strategy. It was around maximize clicks. And we have uh, other strategies that are in the pipeline. So mm -hmm. I'm super excited about mm -hmm. that. Um, all right, our next bucket of updates. Yes, it's around targeting and extensions. So for our advertisers, you know, we know that it's really important for you to reach the right consumer at the right time with the right message, and that's where all of these targeting capabilities, these improvements have come from. So uh, we heard a lot of feedback mm. around mobile bid adjustments yes. and that it was very difficult to just set up mobile-only campaigns. So that was the first change we made. 
uh, you can now opt out from desktop search with minus 100 percent bidding. Let, can you can you just repeat that real quick because <laughs> I want to make sure everybody listening <laughs> heard that. Say it again. You can opt out of <laughs> desktop search targeting <laughs> with a minus 100 percent bid adjustment. So that's huge. So yeah. anyone um, who uh, asks us that question again, the answer is you can target at minus 100 <laughs> and have mobile only campaigns. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll let you go to the next okay, one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, for advertisers who are doing county uh, based businesses, mm -hmm. now we let you do county targeting. Sorry, we didn't let you do that before, yeah. but we, this also, we support that. Yes, now. we do. And it yeah. also helps you with um, importing uh, AdWords campaign well, data. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It won't break exactly. along the way. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, so you were talking about holidays coming up mm -hmm. and all of the like leveraging Bing shopping. So another capability you'd want to leverage for the holidays is our countdown customizers. So if you have, you know, uh, ads that you want to get their attention on because, hey, it's, uh, yeah. offer is running out. I love this one. Me too, me too, right? Because as a consumer, that's the kind of thing that gets me going in yeah. there and really acting on it. So now you can do that with our countdown customizers. Um, and everyone I've talked to in the industry who's running shopping has said that that is like the number one thing they're going and implementing. So um, if you haven't, if you have retail or e-commerce, yeah, just, you know, open us on a different screen, log in and yeah. start enabling that. <laughs> yep. Uh, the other thing we heard you talk about uh, and ask for was around site link extensions. You wanted enhancements, so now we let you associate up to 20 site links per campaign, and you can schedule site links. So mm -hmm. you can set a start date, end date, again, making it really easy for you to manage those campaigns. Yeah, I know. I When I've talked about that as well, people are really excited. Yeah. You can just customize things um, in such a great way yep. when you have that option. All right. Okay. Next uh, bucket. Next bucket was around uh, reporting improvements because we know that online advertising is super competitive and it's really important for you to be able to measure that return on ad spend. Uh, so our first capability that we released was, again, much asked for. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you know how you're doing against, you know, with your competitors in the marketplace? So impression share, also called share of voice, you'd have to go somewhere else to download that report. Again, do a lot of Excel magic. Now we have <laughs> that right there in the grid. So uh, whether you want to see it across accounts, campaigns, keywords, ad groups, we have it right there. So um, I'm just going to ask a broader question. When... Um, when you say in the grid, what you're talking about is when you log into Bing Ads exactly. and you look at your campaign exactly. overview. Exactly. It's you're right seeing there. all that data. It's right there. You have to be clicking around everywhere. Exactly. Perfect. Exactly. Um, then another thing that would take up a lot of your time and actually take money away from uh, your budget was, uh, let's say your website had changed, or let's say there was there was a typo in a dynamic parameter. Well, now consumers would end up getting a 404, which mm. is really bad for them and it's bad for you. So now as part of our editorial validation, we are checking for that. And okay. so if we see that persistent problem, we will warn you so you have time to go in and make a change. There's another set of eyes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> labels. Okay, we've been hearing about that for a long time. So. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but there are 841 <laughs> upvotes for labels. Just 841, so yeah. It was kind of a important. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, it was kind of important. So we have labels everywhere. It's on the web, uh, it's in the editor, so now you can use that to customize your reports. Perfect. Uh, and then the last change that we made uh, was filtering by final URL. Now this is uh, specifically for expanded text ads, mm -hmm. and so now you can filter that, and again, it helps you in your custom reporting. Perfect. Oh. Saving you time! <laughs> and <Look. laughs> uh, So, you know, like you were saying earlier, budgets and billing, this is an area that we really don't want you to have to worry about, right? We want you mm -hmm. to set things up, uh, have the platform take care of things for you. And unfortunately, this is also an area where a lot of little things can add up to make you frustrated. And so mm -hmm. 
throughout this year, across the product, we have been razor focused on giving you time back. And especially in this area, we've been focused on fixing those little things. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, our team did a couple of, we call them fix-a-thons, and it's where every engineer goes in and they try to fix as many of these things as possible, those little things. Uh, and it's we ended up with a lot of improvements that we hope, you know, it's not going to be in your face because we don't want it to be. We want it to be behind the scenes, making things easier for you. So if you're on insertion orders, we've made lots of improvements to the grid there. If you're um, in your in the billing grid and you're trying to stay on top of your invoices, again, through additional columns, additional data we surface, uh, all those little tweaks in the experience that give you time back. Yeah, amazing. I love that you have fixed the thongs. Yes. Um, so if anyone um, in, our, in our Facebook world uh, wants to submit their feedback. We did talk about this last week's episode with Aurea, but remind us again. Yes, please go into user voice and submit your feedback because I hope you can see that you are directly shaping the product. So thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and thank you so much for having me. You're so on. welcome. Um, we've dropped the link. Um, make sure you go in, tell the engineering team yes. what you would like, yes, um, and they'll basically just do it. Yes. <laughs> thank right. you for being our ninja thank this you. week. Take care. Bye. <laughs> All right, uh, now I'm going to call up my final guest for today, MJ! Hello. Hi, Facebook. Hello. So, MJ, we have some news for our viewers. Yes, we do. So we're going to be taking a holiday break. It's been 10, I think it's about 13 episodes, 13 weeks or so that we've been doing Bing TV. So we would love your feedback. Just, just like Vishali was saying mm -hmm. that you shape the product. Like, we're so obsessed, just like the engineers, on what you want from us. What content, what kind of information. Mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just so excited to see that the biggest takeaway from Vishali's section is that you could have 12 votes or 800 votes. They're listening. Yeah. And so same with, with Francis and I and Stein and the whole <laughs> uh, content team, marketing team. We want to know what you want. So hopefully yes. this has been helpful. Um, and if you have any ideas, please... Drop them in the, in the comment section. We read those. We read them. And we love you guys. And power to the PPC people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting Bing and Bing Ads. Um, we know you're all true fans. And we will be back after the holidays. Happy holidays. Yes, happy holidays. And uh, travel safely if you're traveling. And can't wait to chat soon. Bye. Live from South Lake Union in Seattle. It's Bing TV. Hosted by MJ De Palma.